Look at him sitting on that bed. Probably wants me to come and fuck him. Probably wants to blow a job. Ugh. Why didn't I marry that other guy? That beast of a man. He didn't care about anybody. He didn't give a shit about anything. All he wanted to do was fuck me like a wild animal. Man, I miss him. How did I end up with this goody two-shoes piece of garbage? Look at him sitting there waiting for me. Ugh. Oh, I better go do my roll or he's going to kick me out and I have to go find myself a new place to live. Females today consider a strong man, a good man, a weak man. It's the reversism I've spoken about in many videos. That evil does everything in reverse. So the good man today that takes care of the family and is loyal and loving is considered to be a weak, pathetic loser because he is not a con artist, a manipulator, and a user. But the man that is a con artist, manipulator, and user has now become the strong man because money is their god. These females are fucked in the head. And you can't fix them anymore. There's only one person that can fix them. It's God himself. And he can. You know, let me tell you something about men that you all should really know. If you are a man who loves God and gives himself over to God, then there will be nothing left for a female to grasp her talents in. Do you understand that? If you are loyal and loving to God and a servant to God, then no female could stick her talents inside of you because there's nothing left to grasp. When you do not live for the almighty pussy, but you live for the almighty Lord up above, they have no power over you. Do you understand this? Do you? Only when a man loves God can he control a woman properly because he'll no longer care if he loses the woman or not because he has God instead of the woman. If he loses the woman, he can replace her. You cannot replace God. You will not be destroyed by the woman leaving. You will not be hung up on the woman leaving. You'll just get over it really quick because you got God in your life and he gives you all the love that woman can never give you. Haven't you all figured it out yet? How many men today have gone from one woman to the next woman to the next woman to the next woman to the next woman and never had that love that they seek. It's like a drug. The first time you get high, then it's the greatest feeling in the world. Second time you get high, almost as good. Third time you get high, it's nothing like the first time. So now you're going to spend all your time trying to get as high as you could the first time. But it'll never happen again. But understand, if you're with Christ and you give yourself over to Christ, any woman that comes into your life will be just that. A woman coming into your life. You will love her. You will care about her. But you will not give a fuck if she's gone. Because you got God. And God gives you that love that nobody else can give you. If you don't believe me, man, then you tell me right now why is it you could have sex with all these women but never have that satisfying feeling of being loved in return. Because they cannot do it. Only God can do it. I have turned to God. Look how I speak about women now. I don't need a woman. I'll never need a woman again in my life. I got God. He gives me all that fulfillment that I always thought that only women could give me. When I believed that society was telling me that females were God, I actually found out that God is God. And females are just pathetic little creatures that want to emulate being God, who want to be seen as an idol, who want to be worshipped, who want to be adored. They don't deserve it. God does. And when you give it to God, I'm telling you, you'll see the world in a completely entire new point of light. You'll see everything is just different. A whole new point of view, I should say. It's absolutely incredible. There is no female today who has any power over me. No female will ever have power over me because all the power that I do have to give is already given to God, and he gives it back to me. There is nothing to take from me. You understand that? There is nothing a female could take from me anymore because everything that they can give me, God can give me a thousand times better. And I accept a thousand times better over that little one thing that they can give me. And I will not let them control me or lead me because I got a controller and a leader upstairs. And he tells me what to do. If you all would just bother to give up the false sense of, oh, I don't believe God is real, and just even just try it. Okay, why don't you just put your super self aside and say, I don't believe God is real, and just say, maybe he could be real, and maybe I could try to see if he's real, and by seeking him, that's when you will find him. If you sit there and judge him right off the book going, ah, oh, he's not real, then you're not going to find him. 
But when you actually say, maybe there is something to this creationism. Maybe there is something to the world being created. Maybe it is, I don't know. There's a book that's been out for over a couple thousand years, and it's always accurate. Maybe there's something to this. But no, all I have to hear from people on the, on the videos is, oh, if you're a weak-minded person if you believe in religion. Fuck you. You're a weak-minded person if you don't believe in religion, you fucking scumbag, cocksucking whore. I'm tired of people like that. You little, weak, spineless cowards. Too afraid to believe in somebody that might control your life and might control the world. You want to act like you're God, but you ain't nothing. You ain't shit without God. You are a king on this planet, but only if God crowns you. If you are not reborn again, then you will be nothing in this world. And you might have all the money in the world and think that you've accomplished something. Have you? Because one day you're going to die and all that shit's still going to be laying there for somebody else to take over. There's, no, there's nothing to it. Nothing can be bought with money as good as what God can give you as a human being. I'm telling you, I'm one of those people, folks. I came from the gutters up to the heavens up above. And God has blessed me in return. And now I preach the message of God. I used to be a heavy metal rocker. I used to be a drummer. I used to spend all my time listening to Metallica, drinking in Jack Daniels, doing the shit that the rocker does, okay? I know where I'm coming from. I went from the darkest pits of hell to the most shining up above. But I was lucky. The seed of God was planted in me as a little child already. I just had to develop it. It took me 33 years to develop it. Now that it's here, nobody will take it away from me anymore. I will die for God at any time that he tells me to die for him. Okay, I have found the true God. He is real. If you would like to find him, I'll gladly show you. All you have to do is basically say one single prayer with me. That's it. One tiny prayer. And your whole life will change. But if you are not willing to sit there and say, okay, maybe there is something to this guy's preaching to me here saying that God is real, that is your own fucking fault if you end up suffering through life or always seeking that fulfillment and never having it. There is only one person on this planet that can give you that fulfillment that your heart needs, that your body craves for, and that is Jesus Christ. He will fill every craving in your life. No woman can do that, no money can do that, no cars can do that, no animals can do that for you, only God up above.